The continent has now topped 3 million cases with over 72,000 lives sadly lost. In addition, we are now confronted with new variants of the virus. This is not surprising, as the more the virus spreads, the higher the likelihood of mutations. However, some of these changes are concerning. Preliminary analysis finds the new variant circulating in South Africa to be more transmissible, and it appears to be driving the surge in new infections in the country and in the sub-region. Deeper investigations are underway to fully understand the epidemiological implications, but at present there are no indications the new variant increases the severity of disease. There is also no conclusive evidence that it will lessen the effectiveness of COVID-19 vaccines. However, a virus that can spread more easily will of course put further strain on hospitals and health workers who are in many cases already overworked and overstretched. It's important for countries to improve routine sequencing of SARS-CoV-2 viruses on the African continent to better monitor the emergence of variants and their subsequent spread across countries. When we know how the virus has changed and fully understand the epidemiological and pathological significance of that change, we can adjust our response accordingly.